Hello! I'm here in a dark forest in Calder Park. As you can see there's uh, lots of trees and lots of leaves as well. Which is why there's a, a dark shadow around this place here. If you look up there, even more branches. They're Scottish as well. Everything you see here is Scottish. Even if you look over there, the brown leaves, they're Scottish as well. The silver here we've got. Drinking glasses. They're Scottish as well. Look at the child there. Really Scottish as well. It's very nice. I'm Stuart. <laughs> and I'm Scottish. So we're here deep in the forest right now. And often if you get far in a forest, you get lost. So, you've got to know how to survive. So here I've got a log that I found and a stone which can be used to chisel. Now if you have especially really sore feet and you need to survive and not have any sore feet left, what you have to do is, maybe you've got to make some kind of shoe or something. But if you have a stick and a stone, watch me as I do this. You keep carving away. And after a while, you keep doing that, eventually, you'll create something, something like this. I feel a shoe. You know, these are very good in the forest, and all you need is a stick and a stone, and you'll be able to create that shoe, and you will be able to survive in the forest much longer, and hopefully get help at the other side. Did you see that? Do you see it? Over here we've got the swan's pond. If you look over there, that is the biggest swans that I have ever seen on that pond. And on this planet. They're about 12 foot tall swans. Magnificent creatures. Just because you're lost doesn't mean you can't look good. If you uh, find a stick and an acorn and you brush them quite hard together, it'll take some time, you know, you have to have a lot of patience, especially when you're in the forest. Uh, you keep scrubbing away and eventually you'll carve it into something which will help you look really, really good. So, just bear with me, I'll keep working on this. Oh yeah, it's starting to look pretty good, you can see, yeah. Until you keep working with that with that and then, uh, here we go, you'll come up with something like this. Uh, so it means you can uh, brush your hair and look really good in the forest and it means when the survivors come and find you, at least you look good. Couldn't you see me there, could you? Well, camouflage is very important in the forest especially. And make sure, if you want to be in camouflage, that the leaves that you use are the same plants that are right next to you. As you can see, I've got these tiger plants here. You can't see me. You just can't. No, you can. But you can't know. And that's really important when you're in the wilderness. If there's people about that you don't know, you think are quite hostile, you need to be camouflaged in order to survive. So here we're in the forest again, but we're not sure where we are. You need to find landmarks round about the forest that maybe you'll see again and again. Like this post here. Maybe you're in a forest, you've been there for four hours. You don't know where you're going. But look, there's a post there. I've seen it three times now. So I'm probably going the same way too many times. And it's time to take a different direction. Remember, landmarks are your ally in the forest. It'll help you keep directed where you're going. In the forest again. Sometimes when you're in the forest, you know, when you start walking and stuff, you realise you're maybe not as fit and you maybe need to lose some weight and all that and you find but you're deep in the forest. Is there anything that I can do here to to help me? 
Now obviously if you're going to keep walking or, or running all that, you're going to lose energy pretty quick. But there is actually stuff in the forest here to help you lose that weight. But look down here. You can see there's something shivering here. The leaves. And what is that? But look at it. It's adios. It's a natural way to help speed up the weight loss. If you find some adios in the forest, that'll help you lose a lot of weight without using too much energy. I'm here in the forest again and uh, you know when you're lost you can look good as well. So I've got a great survival type type <laughs> Here I've got another survival tip for you, so when you're out in the forest and out in that wilderness and people can't identify you, it's important to look good. You have to make sure that you're looking really nice so that when people see you they can identify you and you don't look like you're a part of the forest. So here I have a stick, an acorn. Oh wait, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. So I'm here with... Oh shit. In fact, start the whole